Today I'm going to show you how to add a crescent moon into your photo. It's really easy. It's going to give your photos a really cool effect and it only takes a couple of clicks. So let's find out how to do it. Just some tips really quickly before we start this video. I want to say you want to make sure that the photo you're using has a clear sky and you don't want it to be too blown out. You want to have sort of a blue sky or something that's just not pure white because then you're not going to be able to see the moon obviously. Also if you like short tutorials like this one remember to click subscribe turn post notifications on and I'll be posting more videos like this one. All right, so if we jump into Photoshop, you're going to have your photo that you have taken on the bottom layer and then the photo of the crescent moon, which I'll link down below to where you can get this. And you're gonna to wanna to put that one on the top layer because that's gonna sit on top of the image. So obviously there's all this black stuff here. We wanna get rid of that and we just wanna have the moon. So the way we do this is really easy. It's literally one click or two clicks. You go into your blend mode here and you just click on screen. And there you go, it's literally already done. That's all you have to do. But obviously the moon's too big because that just does not look realistic. You can make the moon huge if you want, like whatever creativity you want to go for, that's fine. But for this one, I'm going to keep it a bit more realistic and have it just a bit smaller. Something like around there looks good. I mean, I don't know the exact size of the moon, it's just a guess, but it looks a bit more realistic. So we'll click enter and then I'm going to hold shift and I'm just going to turn this a bit, something like that, just a little bit. That's all I need. Click the tick here and we'll just center it now, just above the city. And that's pretty much it, but it is a bit sort of, not fake, but it just stands out a bit too much. So what we'll do is we'll go down to our opacity here and we'll just go put that into 70. That's just going to help the moon blend in with this photo a bit more rather than it looking like we've actually photoshopped it in. And there you have it. That is it. It's a really easy technique but it gives your photos a really cool effect. Just adds that little pop to your photos. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, stay inspired, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one.